Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a great weekend. Today we're going to talk about breakout rooms in Zoom. Now, breakout rooms are a feature of Zoom that I absolutely love. I use them regularly with my college class. Um, but the one thing about breakout rooms is if you have a very large meeting in several breakout rooms, it can take a lot of effort to set up your breakout rooms during the meeting and take you away from your actual presentation. But one of the things that's really cool about Zoom is in the settings, you can enable pre-assigned breakout rooms, which allows you to set up your breakout rooms before you even launch the meeting. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to zoom.us, log in, and go to your settings page. Once you're at your settings page, what you're going to want to do is click on the in meeting advanced link right here. And that's going to jump you down to the advanced settings. And the second option you have are your breakout rooms. Now, number one, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your breakout rooms are turned on. If those aren't turned on, breakout rooms aren't gonna even show up in your Zoom window, and this is gonna be a big waste of time. So turn that on, and make sure you check off allow host to assign participants to breakout rooms when scheduling. This is going to allow you to pre-assign breakout rooms. So now, if we go back to my account, and we go to meetings, and go to schedule a meeting, so once I'm on my schedule a meeting page, as I scroll down, I have a checkbox for breakout room pre-assign. Now, before we go ahead and do this, I just wanna specify something that pre-assigning users to breakout rooms will differ depending on what type of Zoom account you have. Now, um, there are internal and external Zoom users. Internal users would be if I have an enterprise account and I have, let's say, an organization and several Zoom accounts associated with my company. Well, I would have an enterprise account and all of my employees' Zoom logins would be internal users to my company. External users would be people outside of that company. Now, if I have a Zoom Pro account where it's just me as the internal user, everybody would be an external user. So that's a really important distinction, internal versus external. Now, if we look at pre-assigning breakout rooms uh, through the web portal, one thing we have to be really clear about is that if we are pre-assigning external Zoom users, we have to import a CSV file or a spreadsheet. You can't use the web portal to invite in um, external users. So in other words, I can set up my breakout rooms and then type in the email addresses of people I want in each breakout room. That will only work for internal users. If I wanna set up breakout rooms with external users, I need to use the import CSV function. So in order to do that, in my scheduling page, if I scroll down and check off breakout room pre-assign, all I need to do is import from a CSV. Now, uh, you have to format this spreadsheet the right way in order for this to work properly. Luckily enough, there is a template that we can download right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it so we can take a look at what this looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and open up their template. And essentially, all you need to do is list the name of the room and the user that goes in that room by their email address. And this needs to be the email address that they use with their Zoom account, regardless of whether they're internal or external. So room one, I could put all these email addresses, room two, so on and so forth. I could have as many rooms as Zoom can handle and as many users, and I can set this up ahead of time. So now back at Zoom, if I go to upload this CSV, breakout room template, and I open it, now my rooms are set up, room one with uh, test one, test two, room two with four and three, and five and six, so on and so forth. So now when I launch my meeting, if I've done this step, I can uh, simply hit the breakout room button and all of my breakout rooms will be set up automatically and all of the users will be in the right place. So just to bring this full circle here, one, you need to go to settings, make sure breakout rooms are enabled, and you need to make sure that the pre-assigned checkbox is enabled. When you're scheduling your meeting, you need to make sure that you check off breakout room pre-assign. And if you are um, using a enterprise Zoom account and having an internal meeting, you can add participants to the breakout rooms right from this window. If not, if you're hosting a meeting for the public, let's say a workshop or something like that, 
you're going to need to use the upload CSV function in order to get those external users set up into the breakout rooms. So I hope that was clear. Um, I've got a uh, link to a Zoom article that lists exactly how to do this and all of the nuances between setting them up through the web portal or opening up the CSV and I'll include that in the description. Um, but go ahead and give this a try. Let me know what you think. If you've had good success with the pre-assigning breakout rooms, I'd love to hear about it. So throw a comment. Um, if you had bad success or any issues, uh, uh, throw a comment as well. I'd love to know about your challenges that you face with Zoom. And that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, hit that subscribe button. I release new tech tips every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. And uh, check out the DAE.com for our full list of online workshops, private lessons, and all the other great stuff we're doing. Um, and if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks and have a great day.